What's up, YouTube? Red Hoover from Ranch Trust here. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. All right, so Game of Thrones ending was a complete and total disaster. I think everyone, but maybe the show's creators, and unfortunately, Peter Dinklage, who played one of my favorite characters on this show, Tyrion Lannister, understands this. Um, Peter Dinklage, and this is a Bounty into Comics um, uh, article, Peter Dinklage claims backlash to Game of Thrones was because people wanted the pretty white people to ride off into the sunset together. Now, it's funny that he says pretty white people, because I feel like that's kind of odd. Um, since we did have a pretty diversified cast. Are those pretty white people he's talking about? The Dothraki, the Unsullied, Grey Worm, Missandei? I mean, all of these, are they the pretty pe um, white people that he's talking about in there? Because I, last I checked, I didn't think that they were white. So I don't really know what you're talking about, Peter Dinklage, when it comes to this. You might take up for this show you might think it was a great ending. I don't hold that against anybody that actually believes that or thinks that. Uh, you know, to each their own when it comes to their opinion. I thought it was an utter disaster. I thought the last two seasons of it was a complete total train wreck. Tyrion Lannister's uh, character especially was a train wreck. He went from being the single most interesting person on that show to being an afterthought a back uh, uh, a background character of sorts. All of the things that he was known for being good at were completely and totally gone. Uh, he was no longer the most intelligent man in Westeros. He was the idiot that um, really that uh, Daenerys Targaryen almost burned to death in a number of different situations. So at the end of the day, I don't know what he's talking about. I really don't. Um, you can, I, I'll just name a few things that went wrong with this show. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen gone from being the historic, you know, great female protagonist, uh, in this. And I'll say female protagonist because I felt like they did her character the right way when it comes to female, she earned her place. She earned her way up that ladder uh, she went through the trials, everything that makes a good character great. She went through those, and she did it the right way. Now, she went from being the main protagonist to just completely and totally evil out of nowhere. Um, you could say power corrupts, uh, and that's fine, but I don't buy that. I think it's just lazy writing. I felt like they knew that they didn't have much time. They wanted to do something completely and totally different. But how do you go from saving, you know, the slaves uh, to not wanting anybody to die, uh, you know, innocents to die, to burning a whole city, men, women, and children, um, because somebody hurt your best friend? Are you kidding me? Like, that's not how that worked. Tyrion, for example... Tyrion, like I said, went from being the smartest man in Westeros to being a nobody. Nobody. Um, Jon Snow went from being an honorable man to just in a few episodes, just at the lines of McQueen and all of that over and over again, completely and totally going against everything that made him a great character uh, and turning him really into just a, I mean, for a better word, I I won't say the, the word that's coming to my mind, but a pansy in a lot of different ways. One that didn't stick to his moral compass. That was just some of the main reasons why this show was so bad. Uh, of course, you can say, you know, with the White Walkers and all the build up to it, and there was nothing there when it come to, uh, to that. Um, with the Night King, uh, Bran's story wasn't fulfilled, him becoming king at the end. All of it, did not make sense. He didn't, Bran definitely did not have the best story in Game of Thrones. Why Tyrion in the show felt like he did, I will never understand. But anyways, let's get to the article with Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage, who played Tyrion Lannister, 
in Game of Thrones HBO live action adaption of George R.R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire recently claimed that some of the backlash to the show's ending was because people uh, wanted the pre-white people to ride off into the sunset together. English comments came in a wide-ranging interview discussing his latest film, Serrano, uh, as well as Game of Thrones with the New York Times. The New York Times' Kyle Buchanan brought up Game of Thrones, asking Dinklage, George R. R. Martin wanted Game of Thrones to go on for two more seasons. Do you think it should have, or was that the right time to end it? The actor responded, it was the right time. Totally disagree. Totally, totally disagree. And I believe he was really being truthful. And I'm just going to flat out say it. I believe if he was being truthful, he would have said the exact same thing. I think he would have loved to have played Tyrion for another two seasons as well. No less, no more. You don't want to wear out your welcome, although I'm not sure that show could have. I think it did. See, that's where I, that's the reason why I say I don't take him at his, necessarily his word when it comes to this because he says, I'm not sure that show could have. That show had worn out its welcome the last two seasons. That is why D&D wanted to hurry up and get through with it so that they could then uh, make bank when it comes to Star Wars. They knew they couldn't keep going because they had ran out of source material. They knew that they weren't good enough to be able to keep this show going. To make it interesting, fans, after two more seasons, would have grown tired of it. Not to say that if you would have brought in new writers, um, revived a lot of these characters, and by, by revive, I mean actually bring, you know, uh, maybe, you know, Tyrion back, add him more into the story, keep Jon Snow, continue his story as is. Um, don't make him into just a stool for, or a carpet for Daenerys to walk on. Make him the interesting character that we knew and loved, and you would have maybe had a lot of fans that were stuck with the show. Uh, Dinklage, uh, Dinklage then asserted, uh, we had to end when we did because uh, what the show was really good at was breaking preconceived notions. Villains became heroes, and heroes became villains. If you know your history, when you track the progress of tyrants, they don't start off as tyrants. I'm talking about, spoiler alert, what happened at the end of Game of Thrones with that character change. Uh, he uh, continued, The Game of Thrones uh, uh, elaborated, is gradual, uh, and I loved how power corrupted these people. What happens to your moral compass when you get a taste of power? Human beings are complicated characters, you know. Um... Buchanan then uh, would then ask a follow-up. I think some people really did want a happily ever after ending, even though Game of Thrones told us it was not the show from the very beginning. Dinklage answered, they wanted the pre-white people to ride off into the sunset together. By the way, it's fiction. There's dragons in it. Move on. Last, no, uh, but the show subverts what you think, and that's what I love about it. There's dragons. There's dragons in it. It's fantasy, guys. Don't care about his show because it's fantasy. Anyways, you know, something that he loves, something that means a lot to him, uh, whether it be a series, an anime, a movie. Um, I wonder if he feels like it's just a movie. Let's just move on. If they butchered something, let's just move on. I wonder if he feels that way about something that he cares uh, truly about. Probably not. Probably not. Um, he uh, wants to move on because he wants to move on as an actor. He wants to move on. He doesn't want to be typecast as Tyrion. That's what it, what at the end of the day is all about. He doesn't want to be typecast as this particular character. He wants fans to forget it. He wants fans to forget how bad the ending was. He doesn't have really the guts to come out and probably say what he really thinks of the show. And I think he's probably really sick and tired of people asking him what he thinks. 
I really do believe that in a lot of ways. Maybe that's the reason why he gets the reaction that he gets out of this uh, and said what he said. But at the end of the day, something just really set me off about this. Uh, simply because I feel like, you know, whenever you use the word, you know, race in it, uh, I kind of felt like that was over the top. That's just a 2021 thing that an actor would say in such a position. It doesn't have to make sense. They're going to say it anyways. Really disappoints me that Tyrion, or sorry, uh, that I keep wanting to call him Tyrion, Tyrion, Peter Dinklage, totally forgot his name there for a second would say that because I actually am a fan of him uh, on and off of Game of Thrones. So I, I'm sad about that. I hate that he brought race into it. I think that there's more to it than than what he's uh, going on about. That's probably not his true feelings on it. If it is, you know, hey, like I said, to each their own. If he doesn't see that there's anything wrong with it, all power to you. But you can't go in there and say, well, power corrupts. Because Daenerys had power for most of the show. Or the last few seasons of the show. She didn't get corrupted by power. So you're telling me that just in a split instance, she felt vulnerable and then she snapped and then, you know, became evil. Now, if she would have had a moment where that she snapped and then went back into this, oh my goodness, what did I do? kind of situation, I would have been like, okay, Peter Dinklage, I get your point. You know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe she snapped. Maybe something happened. Maybe she let uh, things get to her head. But she didn't do that. She continued on. She wanted to still continue to burn people, to take over the world. And that's unacceptable for that character. It really, truly is. I don't believe that's the way George R. R. Martin would have played that. I know he probably wouldn't have. He might say that that's the way it's going to go, but if we ever get those books, you know, it's probably not going to go that way. Probably won't, and that's probably the reason why he's sticking to his guns on it. But anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think. Do you feel like maybe Peter Dinklage's response was a little bit, I will say, racist to a certain extent, uh, smug to a certain extent, um, or do you feel like, hey, you know, it's his opinion. He has a right to say whatever he wants. Um, and fans shouldn't be upset about it. Like he said, fans should just move on. Let me know if you're a Game of Thrones fan, if you moved on from that. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.